Well, Sarah Monahan is excited for the future. The actress who grew up in front of our very eyes has made the move back to Australia after an emotional chapter of her life came to a close last month. The former Hey Dad star is ready to move on. And she's doing it in a big way. It's lights, camera, action for Sarah, who is ready to get back into acting. And Sarah Monaghan joins us here on the couch. Hello. Hey. It is so nice to see you. It is so nice to be back. You, I am loving being back home. You, you've been living in the, the US for like a number of years. Yes. How many years? It's been 20. 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. So what's it like being home? You say it's great. It's, you... it's just the people, the food, the birds. You never realise you miss the sound of Australian birds until you don't hear them anymore. Um, and just, I just... I mean, there's no place like home, right? Mm. You tap your feet together. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it just it's great. The accent, did, 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 was there a point where it started to become a little bit more American? Oh, no, it was fully American for a long time. Um, <laughs> oh, so I, this is like the toned down American? I've been home for like six weeks, so I'm back to Australia. Yeah. Can you just say g'day? G'day. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you're about to embark on a, a new chapter. Yes. Uh, we, we do need to mention, though, it has been a, a very emotional time. It's in been the, very These last long. few months, we've seen you standing outside of court. Um, how, are you go how are you going? I'm actually really good. Yeah. Um, it's, it's done. It's over. Um, so much has changed, you know, since I came forward. You know, I was originally the one yeah. before yeah. it was a thing. Um, but now it's like every week you see somebody who's like speaking up and creating a campaign. And I feel like my work is done. It's been passed off to the next generation. And now it's time for me to go back to doing what I actually enjoy doing. You've spent so much of your life, obviously, in the spotlight with good moments, bad moments, uh, as anyone does experience. What makes you want to get back into the spotlight and, and to follow the acting? I didn't think I wanted to years ago, um, but then it's like every time I come home, it's, it's back with all the people that I grew up with, and you know, it's like I grew up in Channel 7, and I grew up literally like in, in the studio, and mm. it, it feels like a homecoming. And I just, every time I come home, I see friends, I see people, I'm like, I miss this. Mm. Like, I genuinely miss the whole the whole thing of like yeah. just being you know and so I just I want to go back and do that again and what what sort of role do you see Sarah what is it that if you, you know if you mm, dream I, role yeah. I think now you have to be a slashy so mm. whether it is acting or whether it's you know like hosting or presenting or you know being on a reality show you know to start it off yeah. I think it's 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 all just part of it but yeah. um I mean, I still like comedy. Like, I think that's still my home. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I'm always down for playing an evil person on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Kylie does that every day, but no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not, you I, wouldn't I'm going to edit myself there. No, um, not if you want to come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we actually did some digging. We went through the archives, as I'm sure you, you'll love the sound of this. Uh, Home and Away, circa 1995. You played yes. Heather, Heather for a few episodes. Let's take a little look at that. Hello. I'd like you to meet Pippa. Hello. Welcome to the house. I hope you'll be very happy with this. This is Sam and Sally. Hi. Hi. Nelson's told me all about you. He's really sweet, isn't he? You wouldn't believe what he's done for me today. Oh, God. I, I nearly forgot. I promised Irene I'd clean up before she gets home. Hey, do you want to see me outside? Oh, oh. So good. <laughs> and I mean, look, the question on everybody's lips. What happened to Heather? Um, she wandered off. She she managed to um, irritate every single person in the bay, <laughs> and then she just walked straight out. And I'm like, that is perfect. Just walk in, make everyone hate you, disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we saw, of course, Kate Ritchie there too. Yes. Is she someone that you? have much to do with? So Kate and I were the only two kids at Channel 7 so every time and we were always on different schedules and they did a lot of outside broadcast we were only there on Saturday yeah but um, every time there was like you know a Christmas party or a function we were the only two kids so we would hang out a lot. Oh, that's, I love that yeah I love that. You're making the whole moving uh, moving on thing look easy um, what is the next chapter for you, though? You know, you've been waiting for a moment yeah. in particular. Um, so I just signed with a new agent, um, thankfully, last week. Congratulations. Um, so Smith and McDonald, if you want to <laughs> um, And so uh, I'm just, yeah, like, uh, th this week they're going to do the official launch of, you know, she's here, she's back, wow. you know, come meet the casting agents. And so then it's just, you know, whether people will actually bring me in for auditions. Yeah, because a lot of people during COVID and the pandemic have been chasing change. Mm. Yes. So you've actually been brave enough. You, you've come back from, from the States. Yes. So, so what advice would you have for people who, who may 
have a dream or some desire like it's the same as when we moved on to a boat and everyone's like I wish we could have a boat and it's like well then just do it mm -hmm. like you may not be able to afford a house and a boat but if you want to live on a boat sell the house buy a boat mm -hmm. um, and so it's just, you just have to want to do it mm. and then just make it happen like it literally is just this is what I want I'm gonna do it and then not necessarily listen to everybody who says a million reasons why you can't no, just, just, do just, it. Don't, just listen, do it. Yeah. don't listen to other people who mm. hold themselves back. Mm. If you, there's something you want, hopefully you've got a rich husband who can fund your dreams for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if a, not, go and find yeah, one. Yeah, what a great <laughs> lesson for young, young women watching today. <laughs> Find a rich husband. <laughs> find one that loves you enough that he's currently living at home with his parents so that I can afford the rent here. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. Love that. It's a team effort. Yeah. Um, yes. So great to see you and so I'm so excited to see what you do next, what that next project might be, right? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for having me.